It's quite easy to look at a facility register and say children who are coming here are recovering from severe acute malnutrition, whereas we know that there are so many children that we're not reaching. Malnutrition in South Sudan is omnipresent. We are seeing rates that are above the world health emergency thresholds of 15%. Typically, we see rates around 25% and higher. Currently, we have facility-based programs, but the unfortunate situation is that many children can't access those programs. In South Sudan, we have a different program called ICCM, which stands for the Integrated Community Case Management of Childhood Illness. And the program is quite different than the program that we currently use to treat severe acute malnutrition because it is embedded in the community. A cadre of community health workers, a majority of them who are low literacy, low numeracy, have been trained to treat pneumonia, malaria, and diarrhea. If we could integrate the treatment of severe acute malnutrition into that model, it could be a game changer. We are trying to develop a toolkit that will enable uh, low literacy health workers that are based in their communities to treat severe acute malnutrition in South Sudan. We came up with a couple ideas for measurement or helping a community health worker to determine the correct dosage of treatment product, and then also a register or a way um, in which a community health worker could track a child's progress over time and then ultimately determine the outcome. We worked together to come up with a couple prototypes and taking that out to the field, then actually met with these community health workers to see how they handled the product. And we went through this very fast, very iterative uh, prototyping process and quickly remade the tool and brought it back to the field. Now that we've developed a toolkit with the input of our community health workers, we anticipate that the coverage of treatment for severe acute malnutrition will be vastly increased. Ensuring that malnourished children have access to treatment is one of the major ways that we will actually see a change in the status of malnutrition in South Sudan.